Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Scorpio. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of April, okay? So we're just going to see what comes up, what do we have for the month of April? I guess we're going to take that one, huh? It... Came flying out later right there. <laughs> so between worlds. So interesting. So this is this is like leaving one situation and walking right into another by the looks of things. You might be um you might be in limbo or something. Um, but it looks like you're headed someplace beautiful. This is headed right out of darkness. Okay, so if you've been in a dark situation, it is definitely coming to an end. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and read that card for you. I tried to make it so it wouldn't do that. There we go. Transitions. Interesting. Not being quite out of one situation and fully engaged in another. Temporary blindness. No man's land. Between the worlds is where you must let go of the tendency to make assumptions. This is a time when you are unable to see what is ahead. Cultivate curiosity and trust the process of change and growth. You are done learning the lessons of recent experiences. In this place, between what was and what will be, is a state of making and unmaking and making again. What is essential now is to admit not knowing. There is a great freedom and power to be unleashed. A mystery that is not yours to understand weaves the web of life within a divine matrix of consciousness greater than your own thoughts, feelings, beliefs, desires, and decisions. The seeds that were planted in the past begin to take root. But what surfaces will probably not be what you expect. When you are between the worlds, you are invited to see with the curious eyes of a child glimpsing a rainbow for the first time. Do so and you will not be disappointed. This is a time to explore the new energy between you and another. It is not a moment for certainty, but rather for discovery and curiosity. You don't know yet if this will last forever, so allow yourself to explore who you are and what is reflected back to you. This relationship is meant to educate you about yourself. What do you need? What do you like or dislike? What values are important to you? You are in a critical phase of your relationship that is not to be dismissed or hurried. Everything happens in time at the right time so as it should you know sometimes things don't last for a reason it puts you in a space to be available for what is meant to be so what do we have for Scorpio what do we have for Scorpio for the week ahead? It's a time of transition for you. You may not be fully out of the previous situation, but you're fully engaging in another, or you should be, or you will be. Two of coins reversed. Now, the two of coins reversed is... Uh, unbalanced, a need to adapt, a need to be flexible. We're going to put this back because I don't intend in these first two cards being reversed, but I'm going to tell you what I see with this card. This is a need to let go of something, okay? You can't keep playing games. You can't keep going back and forth. You need to make a decision. And I think that you've been a hard, having a hard time making that choice, making that decision, it's interesting because two coins to me is a profit and a loss. Yes, this is what we got here. So yes, you got to let go of something, but there's a reason why you need to let go of it. Okay, because you got another profit coming in. Something more profitable. All right. 
You're going to need to be flexible and adapt to changes. To me, the Two of Pentacles is a geometric force that is aligning you. But if you are misaligned by holding on to the wrong thing, whatever it is to you, then there could be chaos. You know, the Two of Pentacles can be chaos, can be chaotic times because somebody is trying to do something that is not uh, needed. Okay, you don't need to do that much. Maybe you're trying to do too much. You're trying to do both. Maybe you need to just choose one thing. Okay? Anyhow. Anyhow. <laughs> What do we have for Scorpio? Two of Wands. Interesting. So this definitely does have to do with the partnership because of the twos. Okay. I feel like uh, you have, this is a choice. This is a choice. This is being at a crossroads, you know, having to choose. Do you stay or do you go? And I think that's where you're at. You're at that roadblock. You're at the end of the road, right? And you have to choose. What am I going to do? Am I going to keep, am I going to keep investing in this? I'm going to go back to where, where I was. Am I going to move forward? I'm going to go down this path. What am I going to do? So I think there's some sort of discontent, some restlessness, as I think that you know that you have to make a decision. I think that you know that you have to move forward, but I don't think it's an easy choice. I don't think it's an easy choice because, you know, you will be leaving something behind that you were connected to that at one time, you know, you were very excited about, you were very passionate about. And you, you know, when you have to leave something behind that you, you know, invested in, that you were passionate about, it's not easy. So I think that's wh exactly where you're at. This is decision time. You may have to make a spur of the moment decision. I feel like it's time to focus on the future. You know, walk away from that past. Walk away from that dark place. Get out of the clouds, you know. Um, what do we have for Scorpio? What do we have for Scorpio? It's time to expand yourself, okay? You gotta leave the darkness behind. You gotta leave the clouds behind. The storm, right? I think you've been in some sort of dark place. It's time to live, okay? It's time to get moving. I'm trying to broaden your horizons. Get out there, have some fun. Queen of Coins reverse. Now, this is unstable, insecure, not practical, unrealistic. So, somebody's not being realistic. Okay, they're not grounded. Okay, there's a lack of being grounded here. Somebody may be in illusion. Okay, the, the Queen of Pentacles in the upright is somebody that is very grounded, very realistic, very practical, you know, and reverse the complete opposite. So I, I feel like you're not being very practical, you know. Maybe you don't know your value. Maybe you don't know your worth. You could also be dealing with somebody that is very jealous, very forceful, very... Um, Unstable. You could be dealing with somebody that is unstable. This person, um, maybe they work a lot. Uh, they focus on their money. They focus on their job. They focus, money is more important than a relationship, more important than love. Or this could be you. We definitely have one person here where, you know, they're not really focused on a relationship right now. We have some unhealthy behavior here with the Queen of Pentacles reversed. You could be dealing with somebody that is very spiteful, very self-centered, shallow. This person is, uh, I don't know, it feels like this person is very possessive, very smug as well. I think you're dealing with somebody who, um, maybe this person is OCD, you know, they're obsessive. This is like an old fuddy-duddy kind of energy as well. unfriendly you, you know you're dealing with somebody that is unfriendly this person is forceful kind of uh mean-spirited eight of swords reverse the obstacles are going to be removed it is going to be removed ace of cups ace of cups reverse is a lack of emotion it's emotionally withdrawn we have somebody here that is keeping you restricted in some way this person um 
maybe lies sometimes. There is, I mean, the Ace of Cups reverse is shutting down emotionally. Tears, could you be dealing with a crybaby as well? We Or somebody is, needs to master their emotions, whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. We have somebody here that can't master their emotions, okay? Um, this is this is tears, it's sadness, uh, unstable. I feel like you're in a situation with somebody that is holding you down in some way. They're trapping you or they're they're tying you down or what the heck is this? Eight of Swords reversed. That is an obstacle being removed. So maybe this person, I'm not sure if somebody is leaving. There could be a sudden departure, whether you're leaving this person or they're leaving you. Could be a sudden decision, you know, to uh, remove themselves from a situation or you remove yourself from a situation. There's definitely a lack of emotional fulfillment here, a lack of love. We have somebody here that is um, extremely jealous as well, obsessive. Hmm. Eight of Swords reverse. That is, uh, there's been an obstacle. Maybe it's fear. Letting go of emptiness. Somebody needs to let go of emptiness. They're, they're confining themselves to a situation with an individual that isn't of value. You know, this Queen of Pentacles in reverse is a very stubborn, selfish individual. You need to break free. You need, And maybe it's your own mindset. You know, you because this is a mindset. I mean, somebody may need, somebody needs to break free from an individual that is not a value to their lives. You need to choose to focus on your future. Open your eyes. Somebody needs to open their eyes. Somebody needs to escape this nasty individual's grip. This is a nasty individual. This person doesn't even know what love is. And they're not in it for love. They're not in it for love at all. This person is in it for financial stability and financial stability only. If they're in it at all, this is not love. This is not what love is. We have somebody here that doesn't know their value. If it, it could be you. I mean, there is a person here that does not know their value, that does not know their worth, and is trapped in a situation that is uh, loveless. Okay, this is unrequited love. This is a, it is. And you have to make a decision to go down another path. It's not going to be easy to break free from this grip. Yeah. Reluctant to take a new approach. Six of Swords. This is trouble. I feel like we have somebody here that is refusing to move on. Obsessed. We have somebody here that is obsessed. Whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with. They're, and maybe they're just obsessed with holding on to something that appears to be stable. But there ain't no love here. Somebody is refusing to move on. And, and it's causing you problems. Whether you're the one that's refusing to move on. And I know a lot of people want to put, point the finger at the other person. So hey, whatever. You know, somebody is refusing to move on. And it's causing a lot of pain. It's causing a lot of stress. It's causing a lot of trouble. You're, you, somebody's dealing with a troublemaker who is obsessed. Obsessed with money, obsessed with, uh, well, there's false impressions here. You know, this person wants to look stable, wants to look solid, wants to look secure, wants to look good, wants to look like they have it all, but they really don't have anything to offer. Seven of Cups, there's options here, exploring other options. We do have somebody that is exploring other options. There's multiple options. There's confusion here as well. Choices. Somebody is in the process of, or, or needing to explore their other options. You could be dealing with somebody that is financially unstable as well. They can't move. Okay, they don't have the money to move. Somebody needs to move, but they don't have the money to move. So it's causing restrictions. It's causing problems. 
I do think that you're waiting for something. You're probably waiting for somebody to leave. Some of you may be waiting for somebody to come back. There is waiting here. There's obsession here. We have somebody that is obsessed. You're dealing, either you're obsessed or you're dealing with somebody that is obsessed. This is an illusion. There's confusion. There's, there's falseness here. I feel like there's false impressions. This, there is. Somebody is putting out false impressions of who they really are. Or they're just in confused. We could have somebody that is in fantasy land. Seven of Cups is very much fantasy, confusion, not seeing clearly. And we do have somebody that has a mask on. So I do feel as though you need to make another choice. Maybe you need to leave a situation. Whoever you're dealing with is extremely stubborn. And I don't see them making the move that you are waiting for them to make. So it is time for you to focus on your future. Open your eyes and you break free from this situation. You have another option. But you have to walk towards that other option. You have to choose the other option. It's not going to be easy. So I feel like this month, you may have to... Uh, well, the Ace of Cups reversed is, is... Shut down your emotion. Take action. You're going to have to take action. You're going to have to take ownership. You're going to have to take the lead. You're going to have to be brave. You're going to have to find your confidence. You're going to have to... Uh, well, take the lead. The King of Wands is a leader. Pers person and take authority. Take charge of a situation. I have one of your options, okay? Well, I don't know. Some of you are dealing with a father figure or a husband or something like that. This person may need to take action. Anyhow, the King of Wands, because that's what I just saw. I do believe that action is going to be taken. I think it's closer towards the end of the month. We have somebody here that has been in a state of illusion. They've been dealing with a troublemaker that won't leave them alone. Or there's, there's obsession here. There's a need to open your eyes. There's a need to look a little bit deeper. There's a need to explore your options. You're going to have to make a decision, okay? You're going to have to make a, a mature decision. And it may, it may require you to, you know... The Ace of Cups reversed is end something. It is, because the Ace of Cups in the upright is a new beginning in love. So in the reverse, I think there's, this is like remove yourself from a loveless, unrequited love situation. The king they couldn't take strength. Okay, the king of wands is, is, is strong and, and accepts and allows. So you may need to accept and allow and find your courage and your confidence to go down another path, to explore another avenue. avenue. Um, what is this king of wands? This king of wands is... is Take action. You're going to have to do something. Without fear. You just got to do it. You may have to get creative. Some of you, uh, your other option is a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You may be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn now. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Uh, you do have another option here that is, is more uh, fertile. Okay, you have another option here. The moon reversed. Could also be dealing with the Pisces or Cancer. The moon reversed. That is a reality check. It's accepting the truth. It's seeing the truth. The truth can no longer be hidden. Some sort of truth is about to be revealed. There could be another person. I don't know if there's been some deception here. And it's time to accept the truth. Did I say that something about accept it, accepting and allowing? 
there is another person here. Somebody needs to accept and allow that whoever it is that they have been obsessed with has another person or another avenue or another option. There is another option here. And there's a need to accept the truth. Anyhow, of course. I feel like this is a dead end. I feel like you are holding on to something or, or somebody is holding on to you. They are obsessed. There's, this is a, a, a true obsession that needs to be let go. This is, there's a blockage. The page of Pentacles reverse is a blockage. There's a blockage standing in the way of you achieving your goals. I think it's another person. I think it's a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You need to take ownership. You have all the skills to succeed and go in another direction. You don't, you don't need to hold on to this person. I feel like this person won't move though. They won't leave or they're just causing trouble or they're playing games with you. The Two of Pentacles is playing games. And then the Seven of Cups is false impressions, confusion. This person may be playing head games. Okay? They may be playing head games with you. Mind games. Okay? So, you know, somebody is causing causing confusion. They're causing havoc. I, I feel like you need to wake up, take that mask off, and go, and go down that other path. And don't look back. So I feel like this week, you may, maybe you're going to get angry. I do see removing fear because this is fear being removed and this is fear being removed as well. So I do think there is some sort of uh, courage, finding some courage. There could even be some words that are said, okay? There could be some words that are said that take a lot of courage to be said. Um, there is an obstacle. Maybe this person is going to be removed from your life, okay? Maybe... Maybe there is somebody else that is that is going to be helping them to leave. Maybe that's what you've been waiting for. I feel like you are right in the middle of a very troublesome situation, and it's really hard right now. I think that you are stuck. I think that you are stuck, but you're stuck in your mind, okay? You can break free from this situation if you just take the steps to do so. It feels like you've been waiting for somebody else to do it. You do it. You do it. It's like you're waiting for an answer or you're waiting for them or you're waiting, waiting, waiting. No, you take those steps. You make that choice. You wake up. You remove that obstacle. You take action. You find your courage and your strength to not invest in this emotionally unfulfilling situation where there is no love, okay? There's no love here. I, I feel I feel like there's going to be a separation or there already has been and there's a need to accept it. There is a better option, but there's somebody that is not wanting to move on. They are not. There's also something below the surface that is hidden. I think that, that there's another person here. There's another person that could be another man, another woman that is behind the scenes. Maybe you know about it and you're in illusion. You know, uh, this is a mask. This is, I don't want to believe it. I don't, I just want to pretend that it's not true. It's true. Okay, it's true. So anyway, anyway, Scorpio, I feel like you need to remove that obstacle, take the mask off, and walk away from whatever this is. This is an unrequited love situation. Unrequited love is a lack of reciprocation, a lack of, you know, one person wants it, the other does not. You have a better option. You really do. And I feel like you haven't you haven't been practical. You haven't been. There's definite illusion here. There could even be codependency, addictions, addictions getting in the way of happiness. Codependency, drugs, alcohol, whatever it is. Obsession. You must escape whatever this is. You gotta wake up. You gotta open your eyes. You gotta choose a different option. This is a week where you perhaps come to your senses. I mean, the King of Wands is somebody that is mature, okay? Um, 
very wise, very intelligent, uh, makes a decision based on the facts. Okay, this is a this is a hard uses their head, not their heart. You know, so I think that this is a difficult decision where you have to use your head. And you may have to plant your seeds someplace else. I also feel like you guys do have another option, but you have been ignoring it. I feel like you've been ignoring it because of some obsession. Okay? Stop ignoring the other option. Explore the other option. Stop wasting your time. Good luck.